Your document says if we decide, if the Alberta legislature decides that the government is being lawless, mm -hmm. that we can ignore a court ruling that we also think is lawless. And I'll just get back to my analogy. If the referee says it was high sticking, but he was wrong, or at least I strongly think he's wrong, can I just say, well, I'm not going to the penalty box? Okay, so the, your analogy doesn't work, and here's why. It's because it, 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 it puts us into the game. We're not, Alberta government is not a player in a hockey game. We're not, we're not a, sub, a subject of the federal government. It, it, the, the provincial government is another order of government that is equal but distinct. And so really what it is, is uh, it, it's, it doesn't fit in the sense that we've decided we're going to be subject to uh, what, whatever Ottawa desires. Now, this is the important thing, and all this preamble about the rule of law has been leading towards this. But there, so, you understand the analogy. The I do understand the analogy, and I don't think it works. I briefed, I briefed the Alberta, I did a briefing, as the justice asked me to do a briefing on that case. And, uh, they, you know, they, they, they took a lot of what I told them, but the problem, the one thing that they didn't do is I said, you cannot let stand as a statement of fact that there is a climate emergency because if you do then then in the when there's a climate emergency getting back to rule of law issues i think that the supreme court may decide that because it's an emergency there in, in a in a democratic and free society this will be a reasonable use of the peace order and good government clause yeah. to override provincial rights and the alberta none of the provinces ontario and saskatchewan didn't touch it at all You can become a Western Standard member for just $10 a month or $99 a year for unlimited access.